Okay, Monday morning in the kingdom. Yes, I'm on location. I'm standing over here by the house. See, that's the house. The 10 by 30 shack, which I've lived in. Okay, this morning we woke up to minus 10 Celsius, but feels like minus 15. So it's chilly willy. Yes, on the yo-yo scale, plus 14. But feels like plus 5. Yes, it feels chilly out here. Okay, all right. You can see... Uh, the reason why I'm standing over here... Oh, stay focused. Don't be thinking about vodka and boobies. Okay, the reason I'm standing over here is today's project is to get the chimney off the shop. Yes, that chimney's been there for 20-some, seven years or whatever. And we're going to remove it because we don't use that wood stove there. We're using the wood stove over there. So that's going to be where it's going to go. So that's today's project is to get that out and that wood stove moved to the back of the shop which is a new extension it's going to be a big project the staff has to work today so i'll be working my by myself so it's easy just to go up there and cut the chimney off it'll fall down onto the ground right down there pretty simple eh and then inside we have the mini hole we hook onto the wood stove and just drag it back Yes, without the mini hoe, I would have to have a staff of about five or six. Yes, that would be a lot of kids and diapers to feed over the years. All right, so let's do a quick scroll. As you can see, there's no sun. Hopefully I don't get censored. Oh, the dogs are loving their big pen here. And look, we got them all sheeted in their little doggy houses and the entrance to the house, their doggy tunnel. So that's working out well. They're in, they're out. They're just like little kids. All right. Ooh, a bird just about flew into me there. That's those great jays. They come and eat what the dogs don't eat, which only makes sense. Yes. All right. So we got to put the water tank right there up on top of the trailer again because we have to haul some water. Yes, just a minor detail, but it served purpose having that trailer as a deck or whatever as a workbench. I don't know, the colors look all funny to me. I don't know, it looks like I'm overexposed. It could be the light. It's kind of a grayish, icky day. I don't know. All right, so we have the IH cats lined up here. I'll say it again to offend everybody. IH cats, because we're Canadian. We call anything with tracks a cat. All right, we just made the full scroll on location. Look at that wood stove smoke. Yes, it'll be affecting the cameras because the cameras are on that little post right there. And that's as far as the cords are in length. So that's where they ended up. All right. So today's project is get rid of that chimney. All right, let's go. Let's get to work because here comes the boss. Okay, according to the intro, I got censored at the end. So I don't know if it's the me phone or something's acting up weird. Okay. We got the wood stove going in the new part and all we have is a little 12 inch fan blowing the heat this way and today's project is to clean up this mess so we can get this wood stove out we're thinking it's sunk down about eight inches but we also need to leave a chimney or some means or the exhaust pipe from the welder to be able to use the welder so thought is required but we can weld we can put some cross braces from here over to there and hope the shelves don't fall down but the main thing is is we need to get this wood stove out okay we got the shop kind of clean so we can get the mini hoe by and we brought in a piece of steel here this is going to be the trick is to keep the chimney up there while we cut the chimney out from down here oh down here so we brought a little stringer across to hold the shelves and then we put a little pipe up here and stuff like that to hold the uh, exhaust pipe for the welder the problem we want or the problem we have is we want to keep this pipe for the exhaust for the welder we'll just run a two inch pipe out the existing hole because we know what this pipe puts out for heat to heat the shop when there's no power or anything like that okay so now we have to cut the pipe out here and then lift up the wood stove because it sunk 16 six, six to eight inches we think so i forgot how thin the little pipe up here was we had to get the asian welder out because the arc welder just blew a bunch of holes in it but oh well i can weld plus grind too okay lunchtime in the kingdom but we can't stop because we have the 
how would you say the chimney supported on the angle iron and we got the exhaust pipe for the welder kind of jimmy rigged into place so i didn't know how much this uh, was going to drop down so i cut little notches and hit it out with the hammer and it dropped down about an inch so that worked out pretty good we're very pleased so let's get the mig well i mean the mini hoe in here and drag this thing out Okay, I measured it and it sunk over 8 inches or we backfilled over 8 inches. I forget what it was, but that's the original stove we built about 26 years ago or whatever. It's one of the very first stoves we built. We had numerous ideas. That's why all the booger welds on the top and everything like that. So now we're going to add the blue tank over there. Okay, great to me. Staff calls it blue. 
and we'll put it on top to make it a double barrel after we clean it up put a better door on and a few other things so over here oh i went too fast even i got dizzy all right here we go with the mess we got to clean up and then we'll bring the mini hole back over here chain the chimney to the bucket cut the top off and then let it fall down i mean bring it down gently yes that's a big word okay that worked out rather well well planned out well thought out except for i forgot to record it oh well that's usually the staff's job so what i did was i strapped the chimney to the bucket and then i could have the bucket movement either way to make it come through the hole let's go look at the hole okay once the bucket was tied to the chimney i removed the long angle iron there and then i lifted it down it worked out pretty good it was well planned out well thought of except for the videotaping oh well I'll get it oh one of these days I'll get it right okay well I was having lunch and enjoying my tuna sandwich with the clives the clives cleaves cloves or onion thingies from the staff they sure did have a kick you know for a little amount I put in okay this welder sat here as power supply for welding and the cords fit outside the door but now we've added 16 feet to the building so I got thinking Sure, we ran this exhaust up to the chimney. Now there's no chimney. So if I go to all the work, I'm making the chimney work. And then the cords are too short. So maybe I should move the welder close to the doors like it always has been. Oh my, thoughts required. So let's drink some vodka. Okay, finally after 27 years, the ugly mess in the corner here is gone. And we even have a piece of plywood and insulation covering the hole and tin outside over the roof. And I am sore from climbing up and down. But that's where the hole was. So we put a wood stove there. We should have corrected it 27 years ago. But we didn't. Okay. The shop is warm with the furnace going. So the mini hole has to be inside. It didn't like being in the, as it say, cool down part over there last night. So it wasn't a happy hole this morning when I started it to drive it up here to take down the wood stove and stuff. So always have to keep your hole in where it's warm so you have a happy hole. Monday morning in Whoville, it's after breakfast, I'm just getting ready to head up and see if I work today. No one has emailed me all weekend, which is pretty strange, but I'll head on down and ask, and if I don't work today, we'll be in the kingdom. I think we're going to do water if I don't work, and a few other things, so let's let the dogs back in and head on over. Little after one o'clock, and I'm just on my lunch break now. I got a lot done at the store this morning. I filled up all the freezers upstairs and organized the frozen in the basement as well. Now it's time to head inside and let the dogs out. I think I'm just going to have a ham sandwich for lunch little after four o'clock and i just got off work it was a productive day i got a bunch done i work a half day tomorrow as well so that's pretty good extra hours for me now it's time to head inside and let the dogs out then i gotta get the quad out and head on over to the kingdom because we're getting the water trailer put back together so we can do water tomorrow once i'm off work 4 30 and i just got to the kingdom i walked in the shop to grab my gloves and a few other things and the welder's gone after all these years of a welder sitting here, I remember bumping into it and tripping on it all these years, it's gone. I wonder what he did with it. So I looked over into the new attachment here, and it looks like the welder's right by the door. I'm not sure if we're taking it out or if this is just where it's going to be going from now on. He might end up putting it somewhere in the building here. And he also took the wood stove out from the shop as well. So I'll walk over and show you guys the little empty spot there now. He did a lot today while I was at work. Look at this. I remember growing up with the wood stove right here. This is strange not seeing it anymore. He even took the chimney pipe out as well, so that means you have to climb up on the roof. Luckily, he didn't fall. But he put the water trailer in this little nook right here, and we weren't able to turn it around, so we just backed it out. Now my dad's going to come with the loader and lift up the tank, and we can put it onto the trailer. That way we can do water tomorrow. Came out and grabbed two pallets of core boxes and wood here. This is the stuff we did in the summertime and we've had accumulate in the back of the house. All those pallets and everything that we did, so this will come in handy throughout the winter. Roof looks extra weird now without the chimney there. I grew up with the chimney on the shop, so this is very new to me and it looks strange.
I brought the two pallets of core boxes and wood. There's even some wood in here from my garage up in Whoville as well when we tore that down in the summer. That way it's nice and close to the shop so he can drag wood in a lot easier. Once we're done putting the loader and stuff away, I gotta fill those wheelbarrows and I gotta fill the wagon as well with firewood. like my dad was having some fun with the exhaust it kept spinning and turning into the cab and that's the last thing we want is for him to get snuffed out in there by the exhaust so now he's going to take it into the shop that way he can figure out why it's not tightening let me see the other end of it Little dark. Yeah, it's just got to tighten up. It's not squeezing. It's kinking it, but not enough. Well, you'll figure it out. We got a welder. Now that we're done in the shop, I came over here to fill up these two wheelbarrows. Only one of them will be going in the shop tonight. That way, my dad can have some fire starter. I have to pick through this because look at all that rock. So I got to pick out a few pieces. And while I'm doing that, my dad's over at the 41 filling up that wagon. After 5 p.m. new time, which would be 6 p.m. old time, it's already getting dark out here. As you can see, the yard lights have come on. I got both the wheelbarrows filled up the best I can. It took forever to pick through all those little pieces, but look at this. Getting dark fast out there. The beam that's in front of the shop will be used for the welder. It'll have the same setup as the wood stove that's in the attachment. That way it's up off the ground as well. And also so my dad doesn't have to bend over because at his age, that's risky. And he has to go back into the warm part of the shop here because it was a little chilly this morning starting it up to do some stuff so it has to stay over here. Then we got the wheelbarrow in the shop as well that way my dad has kindling for the night. It fits perfectly right where the welder used to be. 5.30 which is 6.30 old time and it is already dark out. Look at this. Wow. I'm sure it'll be dark by 4 o'clock soon with the way this is going. Now that we're done for the day I can grab my dog treats and head on home to do weather. 6 o'clock new time which is 7 o'clock old time and I just got back from the kingdom. This is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's negative 6 degrees Celsius which is 21 degrees Fahrenheit. We got the feels like on the bottom. It actually hasn't snowed in the last day or two which is pretty good but I'm sure more is coming. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, edit my videos and end my day. Okay so we had a successful day here. We're still trying to figure out why the me phone is acting up with the volume and stuff. We got the wood stove going there. Yes all right. So tomorrow we should work on the original wood stove to make it a double barrel and then upgrade the staff's wood stove and then it can go back to her house and we can put a chimney in there because we're getting lots of experience. And we'll scroll this way quickly to see the flags. This time change screws up a guy. I don't know. It's my production rate has dropped to zero and I do not blame the alcoholic beverages. All right. Okay, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, make a video. Talk to you later.